Welcome back friends. Today we're working on a part of the RV that most people don't want to mess with and that is the sanitation system. Specifically the black tank. We've got a little leakage there in our wastegate and so I think we're going to need to change it so through the powers of the internet and fifteen dollars got a new waste valve right here. Three inch in this particular situation which is what most black tanks are. All you need is a 7 16 boxed in wrench and a 7 16 socket or another wrench. That's the only tools you're going to need for this program. And in my particular case, I'm going to use some silicone lubricant too when we put it back together. So let's get after it. Let me show you how you can do this all in about 30 minutes and save yourself a ton of money. Now, the first thing we're going to do when we're working with the black tank, get some gloves. And in our case, we're also going to get a, some sort of receptacle here in case we have any residual uh, liquid coming out of there. We're going to take our 7 16 boxed in wrench and our ratchet. We're going to get rid of those four bolts up there. There's two close to us and two behind us. Here, 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 and here. And I'm going to take those out and then we'll pull that gate out. Okay, we got the gate loose here and we did have some residual liquid in there probably because when I did the final cleaning and everything we weren't on perfectly level ground like we are now so uh, the tank is tilted a little different and we got a little bit of waste out of there. Not a problem because we got gloves and we were prepared with our basin. So now this pipe here on the left I'm going to try and separate it. I'll try and do this one handed see if we can get this out with just one hand. If you have two hands it's really easy. And there's the wastegate and this is your seal and the deal is on these seals sometimes you just get a little bit of debris in there between the gate and the seal as it's going through and yeah you can replace these for about nine dollars or you can replace an entire gate for uh, you know the entire wastegates fifteen dollars so that's kind of stupid so replace the whole thing because a lot of times uh, the uh, this rod here it gets a uh, it has a seal in there and it goes bad it needs lubrication so just go ahead and replace the whole thing another thing if you are out on the road and it starts to leak on you what you might want to do is try to dump the tank obviously at a dump station and while it's dumping cycle the wastegate pull the lever in and out, in and out, and if there is some debris in there, it could be just a piece of plastic shavings from when, you know, they drilled holes in your tank when they originally built it for your sensors or something like that, or some other kind of debris, and it will dislodge itself from the wastegate, and then your problem will be solved. But in our case, we've got a 13-year-old coach with just, you know, old seals. So let's get the new one out, and we'll start to put it back in. Now let me show you real quick how the, the valve works. Here's our new valve. It's a gate valve. Operates like that. And what a lot of times happens in here, as you can see, there's a groove right in here and a piece of debris or something will get stuck in there and the gate gets closed on it just like that and that causes it to seep right by there. Okay, and so, uh, or the other problem will be the seals. Now you get two seals with this they go in like that with the uh, cone side in and I'll show you how to put those in but I just want to show you how the, the gate valve actually works and a lot of times why it leaks on you. Like I said sometimes you can dislodge something if that's what it is if that doesn't work for you then that's going to be uh, a complete replacement. Next thing we want to do is make sure we have this area here where we're going to put our new seals all nice and clean. Then we're going to take our new seal with the flat side out and we're going to put the new seal in place right there. And then we'll take the other one, put it on the other flange. And then we're going to put our gate in and attach it with the four bolts. So there you have it folks, got our bolts all tightened up, 
flange is sitting there nice and tight. This is really an easy project. Anybody can do it. That's why the new wastegate did not even contain any instructions. This is really self-explanatory. You just need to make sure you get your seals in there uh, installed uh, correctly and get them in there oriented just the way they're supposed to be. But you'll see they really only go in one way. Now this is something you can do if you if you're out on the road and you find this thing leaking just through your next town, stop at the RV supply, pick up one of these gates. You're going to need to know what size it is. Most of your black tanks are three inch and then some of your gray water will be two and a half, but pretty much everything now is three inch, but you'll be able to see real easy just by the size of the, the diameter of the tube there. These big ones like that, those are going to be three inch. So heck, replace them both while you're at it. This is something you can do at the campground. Got a little extra time. Take you about 20-30 minutes and you'll be all fixed up and don't have to worry about taking it over to the RV place and letting them overcharge you for something that you can do yourself. So there it is folks. Hope you guys were able to get something out of this. Go ahead and tackle this project yourself. Save a bunch of time. Save a bunch of money. So until next time, you guys be safe. We hope to see you down the road. Adios.